Waterproofing membrane. Water vapor transmission test as per ASTM E96. Water vapor transmission. So we will pour the water up to particular level. Then we will fit the sample membrane or membrane sample water membrane. Okay. And we will tight tight the uh, container using Close tight the tightening tool. Tight. Then we will keep the sample on the machine. So the machine will automatically record the weight in a particular time, like one hour. What is this machine name? Water vapor, water vapor transmission machine. Yeah. Okay. So machine will automatically weigh, and the value can we can be showed here, and the graph also will be showed here. Yeah, so one spot. Weight of the cup. Water. Cup. Okay. Hold the container. Hold yeah. container. So the difference we there we can show on the real time we can show once the weight is con uh, constant it will it will automatically stop and it will show the result. The simple concept, no, sir. Now 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 if we fix the membrane into okay, this the container. Okay, this means it is already transmitted. Yes. Transmitted. So yes. what happened? If any, how much quantity of water is evaporating? What is the water content ratio? Transmitting through trans the sample. Transfer. Mm. So okay. Okay. through the weight we can add. What is the value that we require? I don't know. Zero point three. Zero point three per m square. Grams per m square. Grams per m square. Per every interval, it will take the weight. Mm. So how much water will go through the penetrate through the membrane? Mm. If the uh, actually there is uh, there will be a for the paint uh, the breathable and non breathable material is there. So it is uh, evaporating more water than uh, it it should be uh, force. force. Mm. So this one paint. A breathable paint. Mm. This one waterproofing under in case it will not breathable. Mm. So it's some case it, sh it should be. Some paint it's uh, need breathable materials yes. to be used in some yes. pattern location. Correct.